See, travel day isn't that fast. Let me take you back to the day before because there's a lot that goes into this. And yep, finally back on the ship. I planned for it to be a really productive day. And then I found out somebody ransacked my car. Ain't that some shit. I couldn't let that stop me though. I knew I could be leaving at any day now, so I had stuff to do. There were a few small projects I had to finish up, like having someone install this fan. Man, I had paint tape everywhere, and I had to get that shit off before I left. I mean, I had it everywhere. I had to paint all the hallways, all the doors, and all the trim in the house. So just imagine how much tape was around this damn house. This was what the paint looked like prior to me painting it. I mean, this was the whole house looked like this. I mean, this shit was like absolutely trash. And this is what it looked like once I finished. Well, at least this room. I finished most of the house, but... You know, that's what it looks like now. What you want, girl? What you want? There you this go. here is my dog, Gemma. There you go. Yeah, that's there my you girl. You she go. will aggravate the shit out of you until you put her in a car. She loves car rides. But today was her lucky day because I had to go to Goodwill, drop some old shit off that I just had laying around. So she lucked up today. You ever had something you're supposed to do like months ago? You just never get around to it? Well, this is one of those things. This bag has probably been sitting upstairs for at least two to three months. Finally getting this shit out the house. I don't know about you guys, but lately it's been seeming like it's been really damn hot lately. I don't know what the hell is going on, but man, I can't wait for the winter. Look here, man, no matter your gender, race, or political background, one thing I'm pretty sure 90% of us can agree with, hell, we all love Chick-fil-A. I mean, I don't know nobody that doesn't like Chick-fil-A. You ever just get in your head sometimes and you're like, man, I'm doing good, but I'm not doing good enough. I could be doing better. What's my next move? I mean, that shit gives me anxiety sometimes. I'm sitting here in the drive through like, literally, thinking about life. Like, shit's crazy. Hey, how you doing? I just want a strawberry milkshake. That's all. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Look here, man. This is my advice to anybody new. If you think you need it, pack it. If you think you want it, pack it. Because the last thing you need is to get out there and realize that you need it and you don't have it. So take that and do as you please. Look, I'm filming a video in a video. I'm very aware how busy I am the first two weeks on the ship. So to keep up with my consistency, I film ahead of time. And by the time you see this video, I probably filmed another two more videos for you guys. So, you know, y'all keep supporting them, boy. A lot's finna change. If we're being 100% honest, to me, the ride to the airport is the absolute worst. All you're thinking about is how long you're finna be away from home and all the things you're finna miss out on. Man, I hate the ride to the airport. Just the travel day alone. You're just all in your head. I swear.
Hey, if you've never taken this advice from anybody, take it from me. Get to the airport early. Man, I live in Atlanta and Hartsville, Jackson can be busy. So if you don't get there two hours in advance, sometimes three hours, man, you could potentially miss that damn flight. And then you just went from a free flight to paying for your own flight. So get to the airport early. What y'all looking at right now is my last meal as a free man. That's what I call it. I don't know what the hell I'm eating, but that shit is good. Bro, I ate like a burrito with like, I don't know all type of shit. But I knew that was gonna be my last meal that wasn't on the ship for a while. So I enjoyed that shit. Now I'm sitting outside of the refinery, waiting on the ship to get there. Once the ship got there, I was then escorted to the ship. Now this place is pretty secure. I say really secure, I mean really secure. So don't think you finna walk anywhere. You gotta be escorted everywhere on this thing. It took us like 10 minutes to get there from the gate, driving. Man, some of these places are absolutely massive. As you can see from the background, we're at the shipping dock. Then it all settles in and you realize, damn, this is my new home for the next two to four months. Man, that shit never gets old. At the time, I didn't realize it, but that was my relief that just walked past me. Didn't get to ask him any questions, none of that. Because me and some other guy got on at the same time and he thought the other guy was relieving him, but it was me. I then had to fill out paperwork and then it was time to go to work. I'm on the four to eight watch and I just so happened to get there at 3.50. So you know what that means, it's time to go to work. Not unlike other jobs where you know you do a week of training. Nah, you just get there, you're expected to know it all and you get right to it. So my morning started at six and then into 11, but that's pretty common out here. Sometimes you'll get to the ship and you gotta go straight to work. Hey man, I ain't even mad at my relief. Hell, when you ready to go, you ready to go. Hell, I'm the same exact way. But it is what it is. This is my home for the next two months and then I'm pretty much done for the year. I plan on starting some type of business venture, so y'all stay tuned. I wanna do a giveaway. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but it'll come soon. Just stay tuned. And uh, I appreciate y'all for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be trying to put out videos as much as possible. We've been working a lot lately, so I'll see what I can do. But I'm trying to stay pretty consistent. See you guys in the next one.